Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is k to the power of k equals k to the power of 2. We are solving for all values of k that satisfy this equation. So, if you consider this identity, if you have a to the power of a, and this equals a to the power of c. Now, since the bases are the same, you compare the exponent, you have a equals c. So, Using that identity here, I can have my k equals 2. That is fine. This is just one of the solutions. But there are other solutions here because this is raised to the power of 2. That means we are expecting to have two different solutions. I have k to the power of k equals k to the power of 2. In order to solve this and find all the values of k, what I need to do is to Make use of natural log. I can start by having the natural log of k power of k equals natural log of k to the power of 2. Now remember, if you have natural log of a to the power of b, this equals b times natural log of a. So, applying this identity here and here, the k here at the exponents will come behind the natural log and the 2 here also will come behind the natural log. So what we are going to have will simply be k times natural log of k equals 2 times natural log of k. Now we have this equation right here and this right here. So if you have k times natural log of k, this is k natural log of k. And this equals, if you have 2 times natural log of k, this is 2 natural log of k. Now, to solve this further, I can decide to divide this by natural log of k and divide this by natural log of k. Now, what happens here is that this cancel this, this cancel this, and k equals 2. Now, this also is the same solution we had earlier on. I just compared it. So what are we going to do to get the other solutions? I can pick it up from here. I have k times natural log of k equals 2 times natural log of k. k times natural log of k is k natural log of k equals 2 times natural log of k. This is 2 natural log of k. So I can move this over here. To form an equation, I have k natural log of k minus 2 natural log of k equals 0. Now there is natural log of k, there is natural log of k, I can factor that out. So in order to factor that out, I can easily have my natural log of k times, if I divide this by natural log of k, I will have k minus I divide this by natural log of k, I'll have 2, and this equals 0. So right now, I have natural log of k equals 0 because I need to equate each of this to 0, or half k minus 2 equals 0. So if you solve this linear equation, you simply move this negative 2 over here. That means from here you have k equals 2. That is my k1. Now, for this other one here, I will solve this by taking E of the power of this equation. So, E power ln of k equals E power 0. E eliminate ln half k equals E power 0. And from here, half k equals 1. So, right now, I have two values of k right now. Now, guys, we can also solve this using a very different approach. You have k power k equals k power 2. Remember the first time we took the natural law of the part? But right now, I can divide this by k power 2. And divide this by k power 2. This divide this, that will, be give, us, that will give us 1. I have k power k divided by k power 2 equals 1. So right now, 
if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of m is equals to the power of n minus m. So I can subtract the exponent of half k power k minus 2 equals 1. So what I need to do will be to take the natural log of natural log of k power k minus 2 equals natural log of 1. So from here, if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So from here, the k minus 2 here will come behind this. I have k minus 2 times natural log of k equals natural log of 1. So right now, the natural log of 1 is 0. You have k minus 2 times natural log of k equals 0. So I can equate each of these to 0. Of k minus 2 equals 0. I also have natural log of k equals 0. So right now, if k minus 2 equals 0, I can have k equals 2. I'm moving this over here. That's my k1. And for this, I make use of e of e power ln k equals e power 0. And e cancel ln have k equals e power 0. And from here, have k equals 1. So right now, guys, we have gotten two values for k, which are 2 and 1. And we have exhausted all our methods. So you can easily check if you want to check for each of the values of k. Remember we have k equals 2 and k equals 1. And the question remains the same. k power k equals k power 2. If you insert k equals 2, that means you have 2 power 2 equals 2 power 2. Right? So from here, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and this equals 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So this simply means that k equals 2 has satisfied the equation. If you consider when k equals 1, have k power k equals k power 2, and k equals 1, I have 1 power 1, that's k power k, that's 1 power 1, equals 1 power 2. 1 power 1 is 1, equals 1 to the power of 2, is 1. Remember 1 to the power of any number is 1, so guess these two values of k have satisfied the equation and that is it. Thank you and goodbye.